All right, sports fans, slam dunk that like button, swish the subscribe, and alley-oop a comment down below faster than a buzzer beater three-pointer. It's game time at Rupp Arena, and we've got a face-off that's hotter than a halftime locker room pep talk. On February 24th, 2024, the number 13 Alabama Crimson Tide is rolling into town to take on the number 17 Kentucky Wildcats. It's not just a game, it's the SEC's version of a superhero showdown, minus the capes, but definitely with some high-flying action. Here's the scoop. Alabama sitting pretty at 19-7, wants to continue being the big man on campus, while Kentucky, 18-8, sighing at 8-5 SEC, is that kid who suddenly grew three inches over summer and is ready to challenge the throne. Alabama's coming off an adrenaline-pumping overtime victory against number 24 Florida, proving they've got the guts and the glory. Meanwhile, Kentucky's licking their wounds after a nail-biter loss to LSU, making this their chance for a comeback story for the ages. Prediction alert, the computers are buzzing and they're calling it an 85-82 victory for Alabama. But hey, this is college basketball where dreams are made and underdogs can become legends. So while the tech might favor Alabama, never say never in Kentucky. Why Alabama, you ask? Well, they've been clutch when it counts, pulling through in the tight games like the champs they fancy themselves to be. And though Kentucky's got the home court hype, Alabama's stats and recent form are like that friend who always seems to have their life together, reliable. Key players to keep an eye on, Alabama's Grant Nelson and Aaron Estrada, who probably practice their victory dances in their sleep. And don't forget Kentucky's Antonio Reeves, who's been dropping points like it's hot. So, there you have it. In this epic clash of titans, the heart might be rooting for a Kentucky miracle, but the head and the cold hard stats predict Alabama will roll on through, leaving behind a trail of broken hearts and crumpled game plans. Let the games begin.